Welcome to the next tutorial. In the last tutorial, we learned about variables. We learned how to declare, um, tell SCAR that a variable exists. Then we learned how to give a variable a value. And then finally, we learned how to use a variable. So let's, before we begin the new topic, let's review that really quickly. Um, so to, to tell SCAR that a variable exists, you have to declare it. It's called declaring. What you do is you go after a program name, program name, and you type in the keyword var, variable. And then you um, go underneath var and you, you um, choose some variable and its type, the type of variable. In this case, let's do number. That will be our variable name. And now we give it, we give it um, a t type of, what type of variable it is, integer. In this case, it will be an integer. It can be a string, which is text, or boolean, or later we'll learn more different ones. But okay, so variable, the Var is a keyword that tells car you're about to give it. You're about to tell it what some um, variables are going to be, and then you say we have one variable called called number, and it's an integer. You use a colon to separate them. All right. Now to actually use number, we have to first give it a value. So to do that, we say number colon equals, and we give it some value. So let's say zero. So number now represents the integer zero. All right. Now we can we can actually use number whatever we want and Scar will see it as zero, not as number, as zero. So if we use number here, Scar should print out zero. See, print out zero. Okay, now that we did a quick recap, we can continue. In this video, we're going to learn how to manipulate variables. We're going to learn how to give it um, different values from commands, and we're also going to learn how to add and subtract um, variables, how to multiply, divide them and how to convert between two variables. Okay, so let's start with the simplest part, and that is how to pass um, values from commands to variables. Now, up to this point, we've been giving um, variables our own data, our own value. So in this case, we give number the number the number zero. We, saw, we said number represents the number zero. The variable number represents the number zero. But we can actually use, a, use commands to give variables values. There are some commands that are called functions, and they do something. Um, they do a bunch of stuff, like, like write line, writes a line, writes stuff in here. But after they do all this, they give you something back. They give you a number or a string or a boolean, and you can store that or you can use it. So um, one of these commands is called um, random. Random is a command that takes one option, the option is into integer, and the option is the range for uh, whatever you want it to return, uh, a random number between 0 and whatever you give it, minus 1. So if we say um, random 10, then that would, um, that this command would run, run the number 10 uh, through some through some uh, ma you know complicated math equation to give you a random number between zero and nine, and it would spit this number out. Now, it, you don't have to catch it, but if you don't catch it, nothing will happen. If we just run, let's say we just run random ten. I mean, it it does it. Random ten um, executes. It, it generates random number, but you don't store it. You don't save it. It gives it to you, but you don't do anything with it. So the way you save it is the same way you gave a, a variable a value. So we just say number equals colon equals random 10. So now when Scar sees this, sees numbers equal, it'll do whatever this says. Then it'll take the number that this gives it and store it in number. So let's try it. Let's uh, write line number. Let's print out whatever random number we get. So let's, uh, let's clear the screen and run it. All right, we got six. Now let's run it again. Zero, zero, seven, zero, three, four, and as many times as you run it, it will give you a random number. To see a more clear example, let's um, let's use a string. Okay, let's do this. Create a different integer. Let's say um, name, and we'll make it a string, so it's text, and then we'll say name equals and we'll use this command called readline. Readline takes a question in form of a text. It'll ask the user, you know, if you run it, it'll ask you the question and then it'll have a box where you can enter the answer. So let's ask what is your name? 
all right we close it and now read line will ask this and whatever you give it it'll store in, in this variable called name and then let's pr print it out let's say uh, right line whatever the user said so let's run it I see this box popped up right here okay it says what is your name let's say Jack all right we press OK and see in the bottom it wrote Jack and we can put whatever we want if we put um, I don't know Jim it'll do the same thing it'll, it'll write Jim in the bottom let's clear it and now before we go on to uh, to actually manipulating variables uh, combining them and subtracting them I want to show you one more thing okay so you know how here we store whatever read line says in the variable and then we print the variable whatever the variable stands for <clears throat> well we can actually just get rid of the variable altogether we can do this uh, let's delete this and let's just put this this whole part let's do that and let's put it in here all right now I'm gonna make space make it more uh, so you can see it easier so what does this do this starts the program called manipulating variables it goes in the main loop begin and it sees right line so right line tells it to write whatever you give it in here in the bottom part of the screen so it goes in here what should it write and it sees this command this command tells it to ask the user you a question and it the, the this command then spits out a value so where does this value go this value goes here goes between here it gives this value goes to the command right line I know it's a little confusing but uh, I just want to show you that you can do this read line returns a string and that string is used in the right line command we can do the same thing with that random command we can do uh, random 10 so let's, let's try it see two four three and we didn't use a variable we saved like three lines you shouldn't do this at first get really very get comfortable with variables learn how to use them and then later you can try some of this stuff uh, with um, just using commands functions directly with other commands to print out a value or you know do something with a value but for now don't worry about it uh, just know that it can be done all right now let's continue with manipulate manipulating variables so uh, we're gonna start with with the integers because they're the easiest um, so let's declare another let's, let's make two uh, integers let's make a an integer and a b integer remember that you can do that in the first video I showed you that you can place two two variable names together and if they're the same type then you can put them in the same line and then say they're both integers okay now we have to give them values so let's say a equals five now what we can do is exactly exactly like uh, algebra we can say b equals a plus three so what do we do here we said that a stands for five what does b stand for b stands for whatever a stands for in this case five plus three we added three to the five so b is actually eight so let's try print it out and see Okay, so let's try it. Well, let's clear it first to make it simpler. All right, five. So, so A stands for five. We know that we set A equals five. What does B stand for? B stands for eight because five plus three is eight. B stands for eight plus three. We can also um, subtract. So, what would, what would this be? Five minus three is what? It's two. All right, so B should be two. Let's clear and run again. All right, so it's two. Uh, we can also we can, let's um, let's make this six. And okay, so a is six, and let's uh, divide by three. It should be two. Six divided by three is two. So let's see if it's two. Yep, it's two. Six divided by three. We can do six divided by two. Okay, so so b is a, which is six divided by two, which is which comes out to be three. See three. And we can also multiply. Multiplying is uh, the asterisk key. So what is 6, which is a, times 2? It's 12. So let's see if that works. See? 12. And we can use as many variables as we want. I mean, we can do uh, c. We can say now uh, c equals a plus b. And let's write out what is what is c. 
so C would be 18 because um, A is 6 and then 6 times 2 is 12 so what's 6 plus 12? It's 18. We can also do something like this. And let's get rid of all this stuff right here. All right, you know, let's just A. Now this may seem a little confusing, so just uh, stick with me for a while. What we're going to do is we're going to subtract one from A. Now we do this by saying A, the new A, will be the old A minus one. See, it seems a little confusing because um, you think you know you already can't. How can you have two A's? Well, this A stands for the old A, and this A stands for the new A. So what should the answer be? The answer should be 5. Let's run it. It's 5. All right? And you can add the same thing. You can say A equals A plus 1, and, you know, 7. Uh, this is useful. Later we're going to use, we're going to learn about loops, and you'll learn how this is really, really useful. So just know that you can do that. Uh, you can also add strings. Um, you can't subtract or multiply or divide strings, but you can add them. So let's say you have uh, text, and we'll say it's a string. And let's say we do um, text equals uh, hi plus jack. And now let's print out text. What, is, what does text stand for? All right, so it stands for hi, and there's a space here. And we did plus jack. So these two are combined and made into one. And you can do the same thing. You can say, remember how we did with um, integer when we added one? You can also do text equals text plus dot. Let's make a dot. And see, hi jack, and there's a dot because we, because we added it to the end of text. Remember, this text represents the old text, the one that you already used right here. But this text represents new text, a new value of text. And you can also um, see, for example, if we had uh, if we didn't add the dot and we wanted to add the dot, we could do it here too. We could say dot right like that. Oops. All right. See, this would be the same thing. It's adding where we tell to Scar to write something. We say write whatever text is and add dot to it. All right. So let's run it. Also, the other thing we can do is. Um, we can capture the name. So let's rename this to name. All right. Let's use the, that command that we just learned. Um, read line. Let's say, what is your name? All right. So it'll ask name. And then we'll say, we'll do this. We'll say, your name is plus name. All right. So let's try this. So let's say, the name is Jack. Your name is Jack. And we could add another one. We could say plus dot, add a dot at the end. And so it would say your name is whatever name you gave plus the dot. All right, well, this video is already pretty long. Um, so I'll spend a few minutes in the next video talking about converting between variables. But for now, uh, just practice with this. It can be really fun. Use this read line. And if it seems a little confusing, try to um, try to go through the video again and look at the Look at the steps one by one and try to see what's being done. Try to change it a little bit so you know um, you know what's going on. I guess I'll, I guess I'll see you in the next video.